Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I make all types of planner related videos. If you are not new here, welcome back. Thank you guys again for watching another one of my videos. So today I am going to give you guys a flip through of my September uh, planner, which believe it or not is this cover, this, and was all I was using before I had bought this planner. If you do not follow me on Instagram, um, I had this and I had um, Jump Bandit with my monthly and I believe with like a random notebook. But yeah, this was all I was carrying back then and it actually worked out pretty well just having um, three notebooks like tied together. Though I was really excited when I got this. But anyways, I figured I'd show you guys what my September looked like when I was going from my personal rings and trying to figure out how I wanted to set this up. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start off actually with showing you guys my monthly. So let me go to my monthly really quick. So here is my September monthly. And this was when I was starting to figure out how I wanted to place my stickers and everything else. And I think it came out pretty good. Originally here, I was going to put the tasks I wanted to do each week, which as you guys, if you saw my last flip, I just decided to put it, let's see, where is it, right here. And I felt like this looks a lot better. So there is my monthly. And then here is my tracker for the month, which I loved how it turned out. So I ended up doing it for the month of October. And then here is my monthly index, which is basically all the important information that I want to keep. And for like the month, so anything I write in my dailies and I felt like it's important that I want to reference in the future, I put here. And then my goals and my monthly review were right here. So that is for my September monthly. Going into my weekly and daily, now this is going to be a little bit of a mess. I was trying to sort out how I wanted to set this up before I did move into a more um, bound notebook that I ordered. So I did put some sticky notes and some cards here. This is from Scribble Prints Co. I got this as like a D stash and then this notebook I printed and cut myself. This is from uh, Paper and Cats. So this is the first week that I tried it out. It's I believe the second week of September. So I made a weekly and my to do's and then right here I was going to put my meals, my to buys and then I tried a little like um, calendar right there. And originally I was going to put my weekly reflection. I did not end up doing that. So this is where I am testing out the dailies and how I want to do it. So there is Monday and Tuesday. As you can see, it is going to be kind of a messy look. Wednesday and Thursday. But I really did enjoy the um, washi on the side. I felt like it gave this planner like a fun touch to it. So there is that. Then I just kind of <laughs> very badly drew the Twin Towers just as like a reminder. And for my Saturday and Sunday for this week, I put them together and then I did my weekly review on the bottom. Here is the next week, which I'm slowly trying to figure out how I want to do things. I have my daughter's school um, stuff right here. My meals, which I enjoyed putting there. I tried putting the calendar there, my to-dos, and then my week. Again, super messy planner, but it's okay. <laughs> so here is my week. I did a, week, a day on one page here, and I did a timed schedule. And then I tried doing a sticky note tracker, which is not my favorite because the stickiness will tends to come off. So here's my Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. 
And I want to say I tried doing some of my reset stuff here. I didn't really do my weekly review this week. I think it was one of those weeks. <laughs> okay, so here is my other week. And then I put my daughter's school stuff on this sticky note because I had messed this up. But I did start wanting to put stickers down here, which I don't think I did on the other ones, no. Yeah, so I started decorating a little bit more. And then I tried out the scripting method by Planner Perfect, which I did like, it, but if you see all the highlighting, I was trying to figure out how I would make the important tasks stand out for me so that I didn't lose track of it. Here I just kind of <laughs> highlighted my to-do list. It's very, like, crazy and quickly. Um, here is my weekly reflection and my weekly review. And I put Saturday and Sunday on their own page right here. Here is another week. And I put the washi at the bottom. Continuing the scripting method. Which I do love the way it looks and putting like the little stickers. This was my son's birthday and then I just put like a little quote sticker here from um, Let's Plan It. And then I was going to do the scripting method here, but I think I decided I wanted to go this route. So here is my hourly daily. And then on the side, I tried doing my scripting for the day right here. So I tried kind of doing both and just smushing them together because I do love the way this looks. And this was just a test out. I wanted to test out like um, different dailies of how I wanted to incorporate both scripting method and my week, my daily, and just kind of want to get a feel for it. And then I also wanted to do my daughter's school um, calendar on here, which I ended up not doing, but I did really love how this was set up. So this might be something I'll do in the future. I'm not sure yet. And weekends. These are just some blank pages. And then the rest, I believe, is just me kind of messing with the layouts, figuring out what I wanted. Also playing with some hand lettering. And, you know, just kind of playing around. My son did that. But yeah, that is my September um, planner. And I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little flip. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or video requests, please go ahead and leave the comment down below for me. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed for more of my videos. Thank you guys so much and I hope to talk to you guys later. Bye.